my name is Sharon Ayalon, Yavo Ayalon actually. I'm an architect who practices art and a researcher who studies cities. So the exhibition Laminated Earth is also part of my um, attempt to visualize social issues, uh, sometimes in cities, sometimes in a more global sense. And the idea of Laminating Earth is talking about homes um, and I'm connecting my personal home into the collective home of Earth, planet Earth. It all started with this video um, of an artwork that I've created in Aqua Theatre Center about an island architect. I uh, played a, a character of an architect who's building her own home and destroying it. Um, and in the exhibition here, I recreated four of the homes in different stages of the uh, performance. Some of them are um, hanging in the air, some of them are completely um, crumbled, like the one over there, and one of them is standing still. So the idea of the homes is that they are very fragile and they are balancing like on a very uh, thin thread. When you get into the lobby, the first thing that you see are those two homes as um, opposi opposing positions of the homes. One of them is standing and one of them is almost falling. And then at the, the tip of your eyes, you can start to see this process of moving along the mud curtains. And those curtains include an image, a figure, um, a female figure that is in a process of um, circling. Actually, if you'll start, that you can see the face of the uh, woman, but as you move towards the other side, it's the back. And with each step, she is taking another uh, step of the turn. And it's a process also of reduction. So from a lot of earth, into very little amount of earth and when you move um, from one curtain to another it's um, decreasing in uh, one feet each time so everything that comes off the the curtain goes into the block the white um, egg-like shapes are a representative of de dehydrated maritime creatures that are uh, also part of the dehydrated uh, Hula Lake. When the lake was dried, a lot of creatures stayed on the earth. And in this uh, installation, the, it's like um, a flock of jellyfish or skeletons of maritime creatures that have been dehydrated and are in the shape of almost dying. That's why we also have the robots inside of them and they kind of mimic the, the dying movement of uh, an animal uh, like. So the robotics were done by a PhD student in Cornell Tech. Her name is Ray Lee and she studies non-utilitarian non robots, meaning robots that don't do anything for the people but just do a thing and as an artist I really care about the composition of the things and I keep arranging them but the nice thing with the robots is that they create their own composition their own changing compositions so this flock of fish or jellyfish actually have their own will in some way Sharon and I uh, work, uh, have worked previously. We go back, I think, a decade ago. So um, it was really interesting because I know a lot of her previous work. So we started with making these really rough molds of earth bricks or earth foundations for her um, curtain and home uh, installations. Uh, but aside from the materiality, the work on materiality, we had many conversations and uh, discussion about her work. Um, just as an example, the scenario in which she's bathing in the mud. Um, I remember taking that video uh, 10, 10, 11 years ago. Um, so it's kind of an interesting continuation of our work together. My favorite piece in the exhibition is the seven feet, the curtain. Not only because they depict um, snapshots of um, an installation, which I know the history of, I know where it comes from, from 
Sharon's childhood from the village of Kulata, um, but also because of the technique where Sharon uses the different layering uh, and saturations of um, the dirt to create the layering of the visual that is happening here. One side is um, almost opaque with the soil, and then the other side has the trace, the pink trace. It was interesting, uh, right, having this conversation from this opposite edges, mm -hmm. where from my point of view and my lab, we're really trying to push earth materials as raw as possible and kind of battle with negative perception of earth materials that they're dirty and low tech. And then Sharon uh, um, tries to put these materials in a, in a, in a gallery space and to kind of, uh, um, with the limitation of not making the space dirty, she then introduces lamination, plastics, epoxy, uh, really high embodied energy uh, materials, uh, non-carbon friendly, etc. Uh, but in a conceptual way of preserving the soil. I think it's a really interesting tension uh, that is happening here and also between us and our work. When you uh, come from the street into the lobby, you'll see only the uh, earthen parts of the, the work, so it's a completely uh, brown, even almost like a golden kind of color that uh, works, fits well with the lobby uh, golden decorations. And when you come outside from your office or from the work, you have only the, the pink side. So it's a completely different work when you are getting in and when you're getting out. The earth or the brown represent my old country and the pink and the nylon and the maybe appearance that you have to put in order to um, feel like an American or become American is the pink and the nylon. It's like the, the, the wrap that you put on yourself when you come to a new place in order to fit in. And then the pink really started in the curtains uh, when I was drawing them, but it kind of spread to other places of the exhibition too. So there's this shelf over there and the rock over there, and it's like the, the ultimate stage of lamination after everything else happened, like this is the final stage when you are in your pink tuxedo and ready to go to lecture. Part of the dance and part of the performance was also uh, dressing in it. Um, if thinking about a home, a home is a shelter and the what we wear is also a shelter. So as part of this uh, in exhibition or performance, I also uh, used to wear the nylon and this um, dress is uh, also like recreation part of the show. Another thing about the dress is the way that it is uh, installed in front of this screen. When I first came to Zaz Gallery, the, the most fascinating thing, thing was this artwork by Danny Rosen. And I, I saw several exhibitions taking place in here and the most, uh, and all the time people coming into the space and looking at those screens. So I said, I don't want this to happen in my exhibition without contact to my work. And I used the screen as part of my exhibition. So this way the dress is being replicated and enlarged in the screen and it also gave us uh, give it a completely different qualities and it's something that uh, I wanted to include in this work so in, in the sense of a site-specific work it also takes into consideration everything that is in space and those screens and this artwork became part of my artwork as well. So currently Sharon and I are working on another um, really exciting project which will be commissioned at the Tallinn Architecture Biennale in September uh, in Estonia and it's all about the actual substances of buildable earth versus edible earth. So both buildable and edible earth-based materials um, are used uh, traditionally um, but also kind of viewed uh, erroneously by Western culture as something that is very either low-tech or an eating disorder. And we're kind of tackling that view and uh, trying to see whether we can uh, develop substances that can be both buildable and edible and what is the mineral content required for that.